everyone. Today is the first day that I get to go into my classroom and get some work done. If you guys don't know, my name is Katie. I am a high school math teacher and this is my first year teaching. I actually went in yesterday and all I did was take a video. Um, and then kind of left. I didn't really get anything done. So today I'm going to be able to be in there for a couple hours, get some stuff done. So let's go into my classroom. Okay, so we are finally in my classroom. There's construction going on outside. It's actually been happening in the school for like a year and a half. The class was left with like a couple decorations up. I actually kind of like those. Those are the colors of my school. But for the most part, it was pretty cleared out, which is really nice. So yesterday, all that I did was I came in, kind of moved around the desks. Um, I want to show you guys what I'm working with. I'm not sure if I like it. I'm not really sure what to do, but this is the current situation of the room and the desks. Okay, so this is the door and we pretty much piled up all of this like recycling over here. And then over here is the furniture that I don't want in the room. So now my back's at the door. This is what we're working with. I have these great shelves. I line them up against the window. Um, I thought that it'd be really perfect for math textbooks. So that is really nice. I really like it. And so then here are my desks. They are those weird shaped desks that work in a lot of different ways. And so they're in rows, kind of. So it kind of makes sense, but I'm not sure if I love it. Ideally, I would love to get these desks out of here um, because as you can see, all the other ones are in like these perfect rows and it makes sense. But I just had four extra ones and they don't really make sense there, but that's just where they are. For right now, I like the layout. It looks clean to me. It makes sense. I think partners is the most productive like grouping that you can do, especially in math. You don't get distracted as easily, but you can still check each other's work. You guys, I got textbooks. The librarian assistant just came and delivered them. So I have my Algebra 1 textbooks. My class set is now here, and that is like so beyond exciting. Um, I'm not sure if that's where I'll keep them or where I want to put them, but it's just becoming real. And you know you're a teacher when you get excited about textbooks. I want to paint this sign. Um, I just want to paint it, get a first coat on it, let it dry here over the weekend, and then I'll come back and do the calligraphy on it. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I finished. And I actually think it looks pretty good. One coat pretty much covered everything. I might do one more coat in like 20 minutes. Okay, so it's getting to about the time where I'm going to leave and head out. There isn't a lot more that I can do without the proper tools for my borders and my bulletin boards and stuff. I'm going to clean up because I hate leaving a messy room. I'll come back on Monday morning, but for now, this is where we're going to leave it. Okay, so I know that this is a weird angle, but it works, okay? Anyway, today the plan is to get into my classroom. I have some boxes and stuff that I need to unload. Brainstorm what I want all of my bulletin boards to say. I will be borrowing a Cricut from my boyfriend's mom. I don't want to buy a whole one because they're very expensive and teacher's salary is not paying for that. Okay, so I just got to my school. Right now, there's a lot of construction and there's a lot of cars and trucks and things. So it makes it a little bit hard to get into my classroom, especially with this big box that I have to unload and parked probably like, I don't know, 150 yards away from my classroom. And it's the closest spot that I could get that's like out of the way of like construction vehicles. Um, so that's kind of an inconvenience, but that's okay. It is a couple hours later since once I last talked to you guys. I have been running around the school all day, talking to teachers, talking to my VP, getting some stuff figured out. The phone in my room isn't hooked up. Like none of my wires and cords are hooked up. I have like extra furniture. Like I just have all this like random stuff that's been happening. And then I was in like a spur of the moment planning meeting with um, some of the other Algebra One teachers. So I've just been running around finally 
Back in my classroom, I turned the AC on. We are going to start by moving this awesome cabinet. That originally, it was not awesome in my mind. Like I was like, get this cabinet out of here. I don't want it here. It's so big. And then I realized you need the storage. I'm going to get that cabinet all the way to the other side of the room. And there's a lot of desks and a lot of crap in the way. So my plan now is to kind of maneuver my desk area a little bit and then try and move the desks around how I like it and see what like works best for me. Um, I know that I'm not gonna have students in person right now, but I do wanna have the room set up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do some of that now. <laughs> So this is where we're at right now. If I decided to do desks of two with rows, but something I do think I want to change is these over here. Originally, I really liked them. However, the realisticness of like kids having to walk all the way back here to get things seemed a little far-fetched. My thought process was that this would help greatly um, to kind of move this space over here so we'd have way more desk space. Because right now the desks are pretty cramped, but I'm not quite sure. I don't really know fully what I want yet. I'm just gonna move the bookshelves, see what I like. Okay, so I just figured out that these bookshelves right here fit perfectly under this. What I'm gonna do is actually line the bookshelves under the whiteboard because I think for myself, it'll be nice to have like shelving there, have all the books, all the supplies like right there. I think I made the decision that I like how it looks, so I like it and I'm going to keep it for right now and see if I want to change it later. Something exciting that I did get was my rug that I wanted to have like kind of as a runner right here. I think it's only 10 feet long, so I'm going to center it under the board right now. That looks really good to me. And I'm really excited about it. Um, right now, it's getting kind of late. I have something to do in about 20 minutes I need to leave. Right now, I'm going to kind of just organize all of the random stuff that I've brought in that is in literally no order. They're just all thrown on the desk. What I'm gonna do right now is kind of just clean up as much as I can, get it organized so my mind can like process it. So my mom actually called me as I started cleaning. She is going to come check out my room. So I'm going to finalize this cleaning. And that is probably where I'll leave you guys for today because I probably won't really get anything else done. That is kind of all I'm going to do. I'm just going to clean and head out. So I will see you guys tomorrow.